The story is that there is a tribe in Mali, Africa, Western Africa, very remote region, that had never been visited by the outside world. And there was um, originally one, but eventually became two French anthropologists in the 1930s were fascinated by this tribe. They went and met them. But what they were so fascinated by was that the, tr the tribe had all these incredible stories of their heritage and their history that they wouldn't tell him. That's so fascinating is that he's he wanted to know this incredible history because they had they had drawn in the sand like orbital tracks of stars and stuff and things that they should not have known because the telescope hadn't been invented. They knew about Sirius, the star, Sirius A, but B and C. B hadn't even been discovered yet by radio telescope. Once B was discovered, they were like, wait, so the Dogen already knew about that before they even had telescopes. But they also say there's a, there's a star called Sirius C that we haven't even discovered yet. They knew incredible amounts of information, not just about the Sirius star system, but about our Earth, about the energy of it, about uh, the source God. So this French anthropologist is forced to stay with them for 10 years, live with them for 10 years because they wouldn't tell him, they didn't trust him. So, he's, so they forced him to stay No, he, he, he wanted to know. So in order for them to tell him, he, was, he had to stay with the culture to gain their trust for 10 years. The reason for that, was that the Dogon had such profound information about their history that they felt that the only way to not have that message be polluted was they would have an elder of the community be decided and then a secondary elder that could communicate with them and they would isolate themselves in a cave completely outside, uh, isolated from the outside world. The elder who was the never elder, allowed yes. out. It's like a life sentence. But he's the only one who knew the entire history.